What's good, YouTube? Sensational Sincere here, back with another vendor reset video. Let's get right into it to see what we got good for this week. I want to mention also, too, that I'm throwing in more PBE gear for the resets. I'm getting requests to do that, so let's get right into it. Okay, so for our first gear items, we're going to head over to Camp Hudson. The gear vendor here has a prototype performance mod with 6.50% ballistic shield health. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to the base of operations. And here, the Dark Zone gear vendor has a gunslinger vest with the talent Vigorous on it. The gear score is 277. The armor is 1961. It's rolled for electronics 1270. The attributes it has is health, enemy armor damage, and ammo capacity. And then also we got a prototype electronics mod with 256 electronics. And it has 2.50% exotic damage resilience. Okay, so for our next gear items, we're going to head over to the weapons vendor here in the base operations. We're still here. And here we got a nice little uh, PVE weapon, uh, Tactical Vector 45 ACP. Um, it has a gear score of 264. Uh, critical hit chance is 21.50%. And I picked this weapon because it has the talents Responsive, Determined, and Deadly. And if you uh, don't have a house and you're looking for a SMG... I think this is a decent little roll one for you. You know, you can roll up that determine and make it work. And then also here we have a extended magazine with a with a 115% magazine size, 3% crit hit chance, and 4.50% reload speed. Next gear items we're still at the base operations, and here this gear vendor at the front has a prototype performance mod for the guys that love to run turrets. It's 7% uh, turret health. For our next gear items, we're still at the base operations. Head to the advanced weaponry vendor. And here they have a Omega rifle suppressor. Um, for those guys that are good at landing headshots with their ARs, this particular one has 17.50% 17 headshot damage, 2% accuracy, and 2.50% stability. Okay, for our next gear items, you want to head over to the special equipment vendor. We're still at the base of operations. And here they got a decently rolled Liberator. If you like to run Liberator, if I was running this, I definitely would do it for some PvE. The gear score is 264. It has 21% enemy armor damage. And the talents it has is uh, Vicious, Accurate, and Determined. Me personally, I'd probably run this uh, with taking that Accurate off and put something else there in its place um also we have historian um marksman's ri marksman rifle here um with a gear score of 278 it has 145 percent headshot damage and on um, the talents it has is deadly balanced and you already know the fourth talent for the historian i picked this one because it's got deadly on it you can roll up that balance if you wanted to also here we have some gunslinger gloves with the talent Savage on there. Um, the gear score is 274, the armor is 960. I think they're decently rolled, it's okay. I mean, you can make it work if you really need a pair of Savage gloves. Um, the roll for stamina, 1169. And um, attributes it has is health on kill, skill haste, and crit damage. If it was me, I probably would definitely roll off, of course, either the skill haste or health, health on kill, depending on the type of build I'm running, and swap it out for um, probably AR damage or uh, or um, <clears throat> crit hit chance, and also also here we have a prototype performance mod with 4.50% um, support station healing speed for those reclaimer builds, and also here we have a tyrant suppressor uh, with 7.50% crit hit chance, 4.50% optimal range and 4% crit hit damage. For our next gear items, we're gonna head over to the cavern. And here the gear vendor has a prototype performance mod with 1.50% pulse crit hit chance. The gold mod max is uh, 2%. So this 150 is not bad if you're looking for pulse crit hit chance mods. And then also here we have a prototype electronics mod with 256 electronics and 2,876 skill power. I don't think that's too bad either. It's, you know, it's kind of low, but if you can make it work, you can make it work. 
Okay, so for our next gear items, we're going to head over to Camp Clinton. And here, the special equipment vendor has a Liberator um, with the gear score of 263, 20% uh, enemy armor damage. And um, if it was me using this Liberator, I would definitely use it for some PvE action if I didn't have any other uh, better ARs. And um, you have this uh, Liberator here with the talents Brutal, Determined, and Fierce. Um, it's not that hard to land the hit shots on the AI, I think, for me at least. So <clears throat> I would definitely keep that brutal keep and keep that fierce and uh, roll up that determined for something else. Um, also, here is a historian here. This particular one has a gear score of 264. It has 164 hit shot damage. And the talents it has is brutal, intense, and you already know the fourth talent uh, for the historian. I would definitely roll up that intense if I was to use this. Also here we have a military G36 for those guys still running PVE on division. Um, it has a gear score of 262. It has 19% enemy armor damage. And the talents it has is vicious, self-preserved, and focused. Also here we have a gunslinger vest with the talent rapid on it. The gear score is 260, I'm sorry, 276. The armor it has is 1881. It's rolled for stamina, 1244. And the attributes is health, skill, haste, and ammo capacity. Also here we have a tactical pack with the talent inventive. Um, the gear score is 267. The armor is 1222. It's rolled for electronics, 1261. And the attributes it has is skill power and bleed resistance. Uh, I would definitely run this on a PVP build um, with this bag. Also here we have a prototype performance mod with 5% sticky bomb explosion radius. <laughs> also here we have a heavy magazine spring with 4% crit hit damage, 4.50% reload speed, and 9.90% rate of fire. I will use this on a prayer build if I want to put bleed on somebody real quick. And also here we have a 552 hollow sight tan with 7% crit hit chance, 4.50% optimal range, and 4% crit hit damage. Okay, so for our next gear item, we're going to head over to Madison Stand. And here, the gear vendor has an operator pack with the talent specialized on it. The gear score is 274. The armor is 1269. This roll for electronics, 1206. And it has crit hit damage and bleed resistance. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to the last call. And here, the weapons vendor has a VX1 scope by times 12. Um, it has 18% headshot damage, 4% crit hit damage, and 2.50% stability. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to the crypt. And here, the weapons vendor has a angled grip red <coughs> with 13.50% stability, 4.50% reload speed, and 4.50% optimal range for those guys that like to run a little bit of extra stability on their weapons. Okay, so for our next gear items, we're going to head over to West 34th Street Checkpoint in the Dark Zone. Everything and here the Dark Zone gear vendor has a Police T821. Uh, I've never ran this weapon before that I can remember since playing this game in the very beginning. But if there is anybody out there that doesn't have nothing better for a SMG, this particular one has a gear score of 264, 22% uh, create chance. And the talents it has is responsive, destructive, and commanding. If it was me running this, I would definitely roll off that commanding and probably put uh, deadly and, or, you know, anything better than commanding because you're in that fifth, or I'm sorry, the third talent, so you can put anything there. <clears throat> and then also we got a tactical vest with the talent rapid on it. It has a gear score of uh, 268. The armor is 1765. This roll for firearms, 1216, and the talents it, I'm sorry, the attributes it has is uh, skill haste, all resistance, and ammo capacity. And also we have a prototype electronics mod with a uh, 265 electronics and 3,190 health. Okay, so for our next gear items, we're going to head over to West 39th Street checkpoint in the dark zone. And here the Dark Zone vendor has a prototype performance mod with 6.50% Seeker Mind Explosion Radius. Okay, so for our next gear items, we're going to head over to West 53rd Street Checkpoint in the Dark Zone. 
And here the Dark Zone Bender has a tactical ACR. I used to love this weapon back in the beginning of Division. Um, and so for those guys that are still running some PvE for Division, I think that this AR is decently rolled. It has a gear score of 267, 23% enemy armor damage, and the talents it has is deadly and vicious and commanding. I would roll up that commanding and put anything other, anything other than that commanding on there and, uh, you know, run with that. And then also we have a prototype performance mod with 4% turret damage. Okay, for our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 64th Street checkpoint in the Dark Zone. And here the Dark Zone gear mod bender has a prototype performance mod with 5% first aid self-heal. If you don't have none of these, this is a uh, decent roll. The max is 6%. So if you don't have none of these, I would definitely pick up these right here. And for our next gear items, let's head over to East 61st Street checkpoint in the Dark Zone. And in here, the Dark Zone weapon mod vendor has a loud vent break with 19% crit hit damage, 6% headshot damage, and 2.50% crit hit chance. And then also we got a small grip with 18% crit hit damage, 4.50% reload speed, and 2% accuracy. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 53rd Street checkpoint in the dark zone. And in here, the dark zone vendor has a G36C uh, for those PvE guys. This is what I would use it for if I was to use this. The gear score is 269. It has 21% enemy armor damage. And the talents it has is vicious, um, dominant, and focus I would definitely roll up that dominant and put something else okay so for our next gear items we're gonna head over to East 46th Street checkpoint in the dark zone in here the dark zone vendor has a tactical pack with the talent specialized on it it has a gear score of 276 armor is 1289 it's roll for electronics 1158 and it has critted damage and disrupt resistance for our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 42nd Street, checkpoint in the Dark Zone. And here the Dark Zone vendor has another Tyrant Suppressor. Uh, we have here with 7% crit hit chance, 4.50% optimal range, and 5.50% headshot damage. And for our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 40th Street, checkpoint in the Dark Zone. And here the Dark Zone vendor has a C79 scope with 19% uh, crit hit damage, 4.50% optimal range, and 5.50% hit shot damage. Okay, so for our next gear items, we're gonna head over to East 34th Street, checkpoint in the Dark Zone. And here the Dark Zone vendor has a tactical pack with the talent Relentless on it. The gear score is 266, the armor is 1149, it's roll for electronics, 1128, and the attributes it has is health and ammo capacity. You can run this bag on a uh, skill build that you're using that deals high damage with the electronics and it'll get 5% of your health back. And um, I've talked to people that have used this. I've never used it myself, but I've talked to people that have used this and they like it. They said it works really good with trying to keep them alive. <clears throat> and also we have a small grip here with... 17% crit hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 2% accuracy. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to DZ2 safe room. And here, the Dark Zone gear vendor has an operator pack with the talent Inventive on it. The gear score is two, 278. The armor is 1321. It's roll for electronics, 1242. And attributes it has is stability and disrupt resistance. And then also we have... A pair of Savage Gloves um, with the gear score of 278. The armor is 996. It has firearms uh, 1222. And the attributes for this is shotgun damage, pistol damage, and health on kill. I'm mentioning this one. It's not really a good roll, but say you're running a showstopper and you want a pair of Savage Gloves. Um, you can run this. I would definitely roll off that pistol damage and put crit hit chance or crit hit damage, whatever I think my build needs. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to DZ3 safe room. And here 
the Dark Zone weapons vendor has a converted USC. Um, like I said, if you don't have nothing better than a house and um, you don't mind running this for some PVE mission, uh, you can try this out. This gear score is uh, for this weapon is 271. It has 18.50% crit hit chance, and the talents it has is Vicious, Determined, and Ambusher. I would definitely roll up that Determined, probably put Deadly, and you know, you can use this for some PVE mission. And then also we have a classic M44 Carbine. Um, the gear score for this is 281. It has 164% headshot damage. And the talents it has on it is prepared, destructive, and meticulous. Me, I would probably put um, I would probably put brutal on here in on this uh, where meticulous is with this uh, sniper rifle. For our next gear item, we're gonna head over to DZ4 safe room. And here, the dark zone gear mod vendor has a prototype firearms mod with 258 firearms and 2.50% exotic damage resilience. Stop that bleed from those prayer builds. Or not stop it, but reduce the bleed. <clears throat> and then also I'll just mention, we already had this at another vendor, but uh, we got here another 6.50% ballistic shield health. Okay, so for our next gear items, we're gonna head over to DZ8 safe room. And here, the dark zone gear vendor has a gunslinger vest with the talent rapid on it. The gear score is 269, the armor is 17, 18, it's roll for electronics, 12, 14, and the talent, I'm sorry, the attributes it has is all resistance, health, and ammo capacity. And for our next gear items, we're going to head over to DZ9 safe room. And here, the dark zone weapon mod vendor has a small grip red with 17% crit hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 5 point I'm sorry, 5% optimal range. Okay, and that looked like that's it for our vendor reset video. Hey, if you, you know you need to check this. out the video and haven't dropped a like, please drop that like. I appreciate that support. If you hadn't hit that, sus that uh, subscribe button, hit that subscribe button too. I appreciate that support. And um, don't forget to click that bell button too for notifications when I go live or upload these uh, vendor reset videos. And I will holler at y'all at the next one. Take care, everybody. Peace.